What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back here for another video. Uh, recently, I had a video up of my new CZ457 Pro Varmint Suppressor Ready. Uh, I was out in the side yard just shooting some 50 round groups in its factory con uh, configuration. I told you in that video that I was going to be making some changes to it, had some parts ordered, and also told you guys I would give you a rundown after those items came in. Most of those are in and I just want to do a rundown on my little side yard 22 trainer hopefully get into maybe some uh, nrl 22 matches but uh, this is just a fun little plinker been having a blast with it so far in its early stages and going to give you guys a rundown of what i'm doing here uh, starting from the muzzle and we'll work our way back this is a suppressor ready model i'm running a dead air mask and got a cool tack uh, suppressor cover here on the front just to kind of protect the suppressor, keep it from getting nicked up, banged up, whatever. Run an AccuTac bipod, really love this thing, super easy to manipulate. Uh, just pull the legs like that. Thing is awesome. Super beefy, super steady, rock solid running that on uh, Arca Swiss rail. Just running a real cheap rail that I bought off of Amazon. No reason to spend big bucks on that, my thoughts anyway. Uh, running some uh, I think these are Gray Ops uh, weights here. Those are M-Lock weights. And you can see here that this is, these are bolted to an MDT XRS chassis. Uh, so those are the Gray, Op Gray Ops weights there. Just trying to kind of counterbalance that. Want it to be well positioned, well balanced, kind of right in front of the mag well. I think I might want to add a little bit more end weight um, inside the rail itself. There is a full piece of aluminum in here. These are just kind of like a... Oh, kind of like a hard poly uh, cover, I guess you would say, on top of that aluminum chassis. Very rigid chassis, very awesome chassis. Super happy with it so far. Uh, just the factory 16-inch um, suppressor-ready barrel from the from CZ. Uh, no changes there. Run the 10-round mag. Those things are like finding dinosaurs. Those things are hard to find right now. Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, running a DIP. Uh, scope base this is 25 MOA built in and moving on up here got a vortex strike eagle 5 to 25 first focal plane um, really awesome scope like it for what its price point is uh, big fan of vortex op optics a lot of people hate them a lot of people love them I love them they treat me well use their use their warranty just a few times on some weird accidental stuff um, as you guys know no questions asked but other than that um, Pretty awesome scope. Uh, just run, this is a 34 millimeter tube on the new Vortex Strike Eagles. So running a 34 millimeter um, scope level, bubble level. Uh, let's see, moving on here, Vortex Precision, precision Match Rings. Uh, aftermarket bolt handle here from DIP. Uh, took the, ended up taking the factory trigger out and went straight to a Timony. This thing is awesome. Haven't even really messed with dialing it all the way down yet or adjusting any of the travel, but I love the straight shoe. And man, if you if anybody's used Timony, you, you know what you're dealing with. You know what they're 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 making. Just awesome products. Super happy with that so far. The MDT XRS does come with two different options here on your grip. And one of them is just kind of swoop back, kind of in line with, with this line right here but I took that off and put on the straight, the vertical grip. I really like that because, you know, I put my thumb here off to the side. Just allows me to get a better anchor point and a um, little, little more meat there to grab a hold of, I guess you would say. Uh, I think that's everything here. Fully adjustable on the back here. Uh, I do have all five spacers in here for the length of pull. That's nice because you can take these out one by one, take them all out or run all five. I've got all five in there, just fit me well that way. The uh, XRS does have uh, built-in uh, QD mounts right here. If you want to run a sling on it, I'm not going to run a sling on this. Um, and then here, you do have adjustable uh, cheek rest to get the proper elevation here so you can get comfortable, get uh, get good eye relief there. And then just running a wee bad uh, cheek piece um, pad here. Really like those, run those on, run that on my PRS rifle as well, my 308, and I still got to get you guys that video too. I uh, told you guys I would do a rundown on the PRS rifle. And I believe that is it for today, the rundown here of the rifle.
Just wanted to give you guys an idea of what we're working with here. Um, one thing, I am testing a bunch of ammo. Got, got a bunch of different ammo coming in, so make sure and subscribe to the video. Like this video if you guys want to see that. I don't know, it's probably going to be pretty lengthy, so it might be like a short series. I'm going to start a series on the CZ, um, start a playlist. But probably too much ammo there to test in one video, so I'll probably break it up into a few different ones. I actually tested some ammo today. Uh, that video will be coming out before the main testing video. But man, just having fun with this little plinker. Um, blasting targets in the side yard and going to stretch it out further and further. Uh, I do have a neighbor lady that's having some groundhog trouble. She gave me a call or reached out to me and uh, going to hopefully help her with that and want to break this in on a little groundhog action. So anyway, make sure and subscribe. Like this video if you guys like it. And uh, as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one. Bye. Hey.